nothing can stop us now. Whatever the difficulties, Africa shall be at peace. However improbable it may sound to the skeptics, Africa will prosper. Education is the light in a dark room. It's the spark of a dream. Whatever the setbacks of the moment, nothing can stop us now. Whatever the difficulties, Africa shall be at peace. However improbable it may sound to the skeptics, Africa will prosper. Education is the light in a dark room. It's the spark of a dream. A passport to the future. And the seed of generational change. Through education, we reflect on yesterday and define tomorrow. UNISA stands at the pinnacle of education through open distance e-learning with a footprint of students in 130 countries worldwide. Rooted in South Africa and the African continent, UNISA can truly claim to be the African University in the service of humanity. Since the founding of the university in 1873, as an examining body, we have been a trailblazer. UNISA is the first and only institution in South Africa to carry our country's name with pride and the first public university in the world to exclusively teach by means of distance education, an ever-changing dynamic university with a global reach. UNISA's history spans the entire modern history of South Africa, opening up a world of academic study opportunities to former activists and struggle heroes, thought leaders, business people, legal experts, acclaimed entertainers, and sports stars. The university takes pride in the more than 900,000 alumni, making their mark in diverse fields and capacities. At UNISA, the World Wide Web is our educational playground, but we also have beautiful and impressive campuses. UNISA's Makalniak campus is located in the city of Tswane and is a major landmark of the capital city. We encouraged our students to communicate with the university via online platforms, but you can visit the UNISA's Sunnyside campus, the perfect setting for students to engage with fellow students over a cup of inspiration. The science campus in Florida, Johannesburg, is designed to meet the education and research needs of students in a range of programs, including agriculture, nature conservation, consumer sciences, engineering, computing and physics, to name a few. Students in the sciences now have access to UNISA's own laboratories, housing some of the most state-of-the-art infrastructure and laboratory equipment available. Distance learning requires that you study at your own time and in your own space, but that doesn't mean you're on your own. You can also visit a UNISA regional center to get advice, meet other students, make use of UNISA services, have conversations with counselors, and use our academic libraries. We offer an unparalleled range of study choices, ranging from short courses and certificate programs to three and four year degrees, diplomas, as well as master's and doctoral degrees, with close to 380,000 current students. Our rich tapestry of study disciplines includes the College of Accounting Sciences, Agriculture and Environmental Sciences, Economic and Management Sciences, Education, Graduate Studies, Human Sciences, Law, Science, Engineering and Technology, and the Graduate School of Business Leadership as well as the Tabumbeki School of Public and International Affairs. As a comprehensive open distance e-learning pioneer, UNISA is known for delivering well-designed, interactive study material and integrated student support. Students have access to a menu of support services, ranging from face-to-face -face tutorials and academic literacy services to study groups and e-tutors. 
One of UNISA's main aims is to harness the new and emerging potential in information and communication technology, catapulting the university into a truly digital future. To this end, examinations are conducted on college-specific exam portals and are accessed from the My Exams portal. UNISA is well placed to address society's most demanding challenges by using research to meaningfully transform the lives of those in our communities. To that end, UNISA is working towards instituting the following catalytic niche areas. Marine Studies Aviation and Aeronautical Studies Automotive Studies Energy Studies Space Study and Square Kilometre Array Fourth Industrial Revolution and Digitalization Natural Sciences Health Studies or Medicine Feminist, Womanist, Bosadi Theorizations and Student Support and Co-Curricular Activities As Africa's leading open distance e-learning university, UNISA strives to keep up with the constantly evolving higher education landscape in order to serve our students to the best of our ability. We can reflect with great pride on the past 150 years of transformational education and we are confident in our ability to succeed and become a truly high performance university as we define tomorrow. The University of South Africa prides itself for being the African University, shaping futures in the service of humanity. We congratulate all our students for having walked this journey with us. And today, we celebrate you for having successfully completed your qualifications. To you, we say, Halala. To all our graduates and diplomandi in this ceremony, please pay attention to the following instructions. For degree qualifications, a graduations officer will signal degree candidates to rise and approach the stage. You will need to have your seat ticket and the yellow photography card in your right hand with your hood already draped over your shoulders. One of the official photography officers will take the yellow photography card from you. A graduations officer will then indicate to you where you need to wait at the bottom of the stairs and when you may proceed to go up onto the stage and stand on the mat with feet markers next to the podium. You will hand in your seat card to the dean or college representative. Turn and face the audience and look towards the photographer for your first on-stage photograph. The dean or college representative will announce your details and hand you back your seat card. You will then proceed towards the chancellor, vice chancellor or acting vice chancellor and kneel with your right knee on the stool. At this point, your degree will be conferred. You will then proceed to the next official who will congratulate you by shaking your hand. Continue towards the registrar standing at the end of the stage. Turn and face the audience and remember to stand on the mat with feet markers in front of the registrar and smile for the camera. A second on-stage photograph will be taken at that moment. Leave the stage by the...
whatever the setback. Whatever the setbacks of the moment, nothing can stop us now. Whatever the difficulties, Africa shall be at peace. However improbable it may sound to the skeptics, Africa will prosper. Education is the light in a dark room. It's the spark of a dream a passport to the future and the seed of generational change. Through education, we reflect on yesterday and define tomorrow. UNISA stands at the pinnacle of education through open distance e-learning with a footprint of students in 130 countries worldwide, rooted in South Africa and the African continent. UNISA can truly claim to be the African University in the service of humanity. Since the founding of the university in 1873, as an examining body, we have been a trailblazer. UNISA is the first and only institution in South Africa to carry our country's name with pride and the first public university in the world to exclusively teach by means of distance education, an ever-changing dynamic university with a global reach. UNISA's history spans the entire modern history of South Africa, opening up a world of academic study opportunities to former activists and struggle heroes, thought leaders, business people, legal experts, acclaimed entertainers, and sports stars. The university takes pride in the more than 900,000 alumni, making their mark in diverse fields and capacities. At UNISA, the World Wide Web is our educational playground, but we also have beautiful and impressive campuses. UNISA's Makalniak campus is located in the city of Tuane and is a major landmark of the capital city. We encouraged our students to communicate with the university via online platforms, but you can visit the UNISA's Sunnyside campus the perfect setting for students to engage with fellow students over a cup of inspiration. The science campus in Florida, Johannesburg, is designed to meet the education and research needs of students in a range of programs, including agriculture, nature conservation, consumer sciences, engineering, computing and physics, to name a few. Students in the sciences now have access to UNISA's own laboratories, housing some of the most state-of-the-art infrastructure and laboratory equipment available. Distance learning requires that you study at your own time and in your own space, but that doesn't mean you're on your own. You can also visit a UNISA regional center to get advice, meet other students, make use of UNISA services, have conversations with counselors, and use our academic libraries. We offer an unparalleled range of study choices, ranging from short courses and certificate programs to three- and four-year degrees, diplomas, as well as master's and doctoral degrees, with close to 380,000 current students. Our rich tapestry of study disciplines includes the College of Accounting Sciences, Agriculture and Environmental Sciences, Economic and Management Sciences, Education, Graduate Studies, Human Sciences, Law, Science, Engineering and Technology, and the Graduate School of Business Leadership, as well as the Tabumbeki School of Public and International Affairs. As a comprehensive open distance e-learning pioneer, UNISA is known for delivering well-designed, interactive study material and integrated student support. Students have access to a menu of support services ranging from face-to-face -face tutorials and academic literacy services to study groups and e-tutors. 
One of UNISA's main aims is to harness the new and emerging potential in information and communication technology, catapulting the university into a truly digital future. To this end, examinations are conducted on college-specific exam portals and are accessed from the My Exams portal. UNISA is well placed to address society's most demanding challenges by using research to meaningfully transform the lives of those in our communities. To that end, UNISA is working towards instituting the following catalytic niche areas. Marine studies, aviation and aeronautical studies, automotive studies, energy studies, space study and square kilometer array. Fourth Industrial Revolution and Digitalization Natural Sciences Health Studies or Medicine Feminist, Womanist, Bosadi Theorizations and Student Support and Co-Curricular Activities As Africa's leading open distance e-learning university, UNISA strives to keep up with the constantly evolving higher education landscape in order to serve our students to the best of our ability we can reflect with great pride on the past 150 years of transformational education and we are confident in our ability to succeed and become a truly high performance university as we define tomorrow. The University of South Africa prides itself for being the African University, shaping futures in the service of humanity. We congratulate all our students for having walked this journey with us. And today, we celebrate you for having successfully completed your qualifications. To you, we say, Halala. To all our graduates and diplomandi in this ceremony, please pay attention to the following instructions. For degree qualifications, a graduation officer will signal degree candidates to rise and approach the stage. You will need to have your seat ticket and the yellow photography card in your right hand with your hood already draped over your shoulders. One of the official photography officers will take the yellow photography card from you. A graduation officer will then indicate to you where you need to wait at the bottom of the stairs and when you may proceed to go up onto the stage and stand on the mat with feet markers next to the podium. You will hand in your seat card to the dean or college representative. Turn and face the audience and look towards the photographer for your first on-stage photograph. The dean or college representative will announce your details and hand you back your seat card. You will then proceed towards the chancellor, vice chancellor or acting vice chancellor and kneel with your right knee on the stool. At this point, your degree will be conferred. You will then proceed to the next official who will congratulate you by shaking your hand. Continue towards the registrar standing at the end of the stage. Turn and face the audience and remember to stand on the mat with feet markers in front of the registrar and smile for the camera. A second on-stage photograph will be taken at that moment. Leave the stage by the stairs closest to the registrar. Proceed to the table at the far right to receive your certificate. After receiving your certificate, Proceed down the stairs to the foyer area where a head and shoulders photograph will be taken. You will then be directed to return to your seat. For postgraduate and undergraduate diploma candidates, you will also be wearing your hoods before entering the hall. You will be signaled by a graduation officer to rise and approach the stage. You need to have your seat ticket and the yellow photography card in your right hand. A graduation officer will then indicate to you where you need to wait at the bottom of the stairs and when you may proceed to go up to the stage and stand on the mat with feet markers next to the podium. 
you will hand your seat card to the dean or college representative. Turn and face the audience and look towards the photographer for your first on-stage photograph. The dean or college representative will announce your details and hand you back your seat card. Proceed towards the registrar standing at the end of the stage. Stop in front of the registrar and stand on the mat with feet markers. Turn and face the audience. Your second on-stage photograph will be taken at that moment. Leave the stage by the stairs closest to the registrar. Proceed to the table on the far right of the stage to receive your certificate. After receiving your certificate, proceed down the stairs to the foyer area where a head and shoulders photograph will be taken. You will then be directed to return to your seat. We hope that you will enjoy this occasion. For degree qualifications, a graduations officer will signal degree candidates to rise and approach the stage. You will need to have your seat ticket and the yellow photography card in your right hand with your hood already draped.
and nothing can stop us now. Whatever the difficulties, Africa shall be at peace. However improbable it may sound to the skeptics, Africa will prosper. Education is the light in a dark room. It's the spark of a dream. A passport to the future. And the seed of generational change. Through education, we reflect on yesterday and define tomorrow. UNISA stands at the pinnacle of education through open distance e-learning with a footprint of students in 130 countries worldwide. Rooted in South Africa and the African continent, UNISA can truly claim to be the African university in the service of humanity. Since the founding of the university in 1873, as an examining body, we have been a trailblazer. UNISA is the first and only institution in South Africa to carry our country's name with pride and the first public university in the world to exclusively teach by means of distance education, an ever-changing dynamic university with a global reach. UNISA's history spans the entire modern history of South Africa, opening up a world of academic study opportunities to former activists and struggle heroes, thought leaders, business people, legal experts, acclaimed entertainers, and sports stars. The university takes pride in the more than 900,000 alumni, making their mark in diverse fields and capacities. At UNISA, the World Wide Web is our educational playground, but we also have beautiful and impressive campuses. UNISA's Makalniak campus is located in the city of Tswane and is a major landmark of the capital city. We encouraged our students to communicate with the university via online platforms, but you can visit the UNISA's Sunnyside campus, the perfect setting for students to engage with fellow students over a cup of inspiration. The science campus in Florida, Johannesburg, is designed to meet the education and research needs of students in a range of programs, including agriculture, nature conservation, consumer sciences, engineering, computing and physics, to name a few. Students in the sciences now have access to UNISA's own laboratories, housing some of the most state-of-the-art infrastructure and laboratory equipment available. Distance learning requires that you study at your own time and in your own space, but that doesn't mean you're on your own. You can also visit a UNISA regional center to get advice, meet other students, make use of UNISA services, have conversations with counselors, and use our academic libraries. We offer an unparalleled range of study choices, ranging from short courses and certificate programs to three and four year degrees, diplomas, as well as master's and doctoral degrees, with close to 380,000 current students. Our rich tapestry of study disciplines includes the College of Accounting Sciences, Agriculture and Environmental Sciences, Economic and Management Sciences, Education.
by virtue of the powers vested in me as chancellor, I constitute this gathering a congregation of the University of South Africa. Ladies and gentlemen, we request you to join us in silent prayers, affirmations, and celebrations, and meditate for the celebrations we're having this morning. May I request you to stand up? May I request a moment of silence? Thank you. May I request you to be seated? His Excellency, the Chancellor of the University of South Africa, Minister, President Thabo Mbuela Mbeki. His Excellency, the Deputy President of the Republic of South Africa, His Excellency, Mr. Paul Mashatile. The Chair elect the Deputy Chair of Council of the University of South Africa, His Grace Bishop so, uh, Dr. Den Musia, the Deputy Chaplain of Council. His Grace Bishop Dr. Engenas Joseph Lekhanyani, Bishop of St. Engenas Zion Christian Church, members of Council present here today. Members of the Executive Management of the University of South Africa, Mr. Panyaza Lusufi, the Premier of Gauteng Province, and Mrs. Lusufi, Mr. David Makura, former Premier of Gauteng Province, Mr. Matume Chilwane, MEC for Education, Gauteng Province, Ms. Viola Mutumi, MEC for Education, Northwest Provincial Government. Mr. Matume Chilwane, MEC for Education, Kauteng Province. And MEC Masimola, present here from Limpopo Province. Executive deans, students, parents, academics, administrative staff, epistemic communities of the University of South Africa, and all other universities participating in person and virtually, esteemed guests of the University of South Africa, ladies and gentlemen, Dumelang. Dumelang. Sanbonan. Abshen. A. Molweni. Lachan, Quenand, Jambo, Assalamu alaikum, Tobela, Khotong, It is my greatest privilege and honor to welcome you to the final spring graduation ceremony of the University of South Africa for the academic year 2023, the penultimate. At the University of South Africa, we place high premium on academic success and excellence, virtues that define us as a truly pan-African university that shapes futures in service of humanity. We're proud of every year that we produce a significant number of graduates who are knowledgeable 
are skilled in different academic disciplines and are ready to apply their newly acquired knowledge to question and advance society for the better. I'm happy to inform you that in these graduations, UNISA will have graduated 50,180 graduates in 2023. We will also be having graduations in Eritrea and Ethiopia where the students who learn from this university from the continent will also be celebrating the acquisition and pursuit of knowledge as an important transformer of society. We are happy that you'll be joining many of University of South Africa students who have become part of the building of the fabric of our society and our continent and the global arena through the knowledge that this 150 years university will have made available to all of us. In case I forgot, I wish to remind you, or you forgot, I remember. I wish to remind you that you're joining a galaxy of stars who constitute the alumni of this university, such as President Nelson Mandela, the former Nelson, President Mandela. Can I give him a round of applause? The Chancellor of the University of South Africa, President Mbeki, is also an alumni of this university, alumnus of this university. So is the current President of the Republic of South Africa, President Ramaphosa. But the university doesn't only produce uh, presidents and politicians and economic leaders. Uh, opposition political leaders are also trained by UNISA. If you think of the leader of Azapo, Dr. Musibudi Mangena, is also a graduate of this university. You know, the Lang Lions, the CIC of the Economic Freedom Fighters, is also a graduate of this university. <laughs> so we train people to have independence of mind, to change the frontiers of society in the best way that they can. We produce almost all the chief justices of, of the country were produced by the University of South Africa. Chief Justice Zondo, Chief Justice Mukweng Mukweng are all graduates of the university, including the youngest political prisoner at Robben Island, Deputy Chief Justice Dikhang Museneke. <laughs> the same is true to Justice Edwin Cameron, Togozile Masipa, Masipa, and others, including the former Reserve Bank, Jill Marcus. So if your interest rates went down a bit or stayed stable, Jill Marcos would have been the person to do so. In this instance, Lesecha Kanyako is also the graduate of this university. The university has produced business people, vice chancellors such as Professor Rampele Mampele, and many other people who are active in the various sectors of our society to building a better society. So you graduates, you're truly honored that on this day that we celebrate Oliver Tambo, one of the leading diplomats of our country, a Pan-Africanist, that you will be graduating this evening. It's even more important because the honorary degree candidate, His Grace, Bishop Dr. Lekhanyani will also be receiving an honorary degree. I have no doubt that the graduates this night, this evening, will not just be happy that they have a president, a deputy president, ministers, MECs, business people, the whole procession of the academy but also the religious leaders that remind us of the moral fiber of our society. So I think you deserve a round of applause, but it's also an invitation to you.
about the choices you make. Finally, colleagues, the University of South Africa helps many first-generation students, as it does many students who come here because of the abilities, cognitive and otherwise, that they undertake. But we are the university that's responsible for 33 to 37% of the higher education system in South Africa. 37% of the students in higher education are trained by UNISA. Colleagues, that's an important feat. It means that this is what we should be celebrating for 180,000 students at UNISA are supported by NEFSAS. It means they use education as an opportunity to changing the plight, to overcoming poverty, to eradicating it, and to using that idea that President Becky and President Mandela would have reminded us that education becomes that which enables and equalizes, but which helps us and invites us to being the best citizens that work for the betterment of our society. Finally, colleagues, welcome to the University of Leaders, the first university to make accessible higher education to multitudes via distance education in the world. The university that holds 37% of the sector the university that has transformed itself from number 13 in 2021 to number 7 in 2023. The university that has become number one in engineering sciences alongside with the University of Stellenbosch and Northwest, a proud and fitting area for engineering sciences at UNISA are hardly 20 years, and I'm truly appreciative that the academics at UNISA, administrative and professional staff, all come together to ensure that the quality of education that this institution provides becomes a resource for our society and the changes it requires. And finally, we couldn't have been happier as the university that the graduation is extra special because it is graced by His Grace Bishop Dr. St. Agnes Joseph Lekhanyani, Bishop of the St. Agnes Zion Christian Church, who will be receiving his doctorate honoris causa in honor of his decades long of resilience, of ensuring that Africa's institutions, Africa's movements become the best and they rally to change the continent for the better. One who is not apologetic around Africa's philosophies, religions, and cultures, and civilizations to building social capital, social cohesion, and social justice. And therefore, it is a privilege to really welcome you to this august university to enjoy the graduations. Let us give all the graduates a round of applause, and you are welcome. Our dogs are fastened. So there's lots of peace. Khotsong. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor, I request you to grant us permission for the Dean of the College of Humanities to, co to read. Mr. Chancellor, I now have the honor to introduce to you Dr. Engenas Joseph Lekhanyani, His Grace the Bishop, and I request Professor Zet Nkosi to present the citation. Thank you. Mr. Chancellor, I now have the honor to introduce to you Engenas Joseph Lekhanyana for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Theology, honoris causa, and I request Mr. Lekhanyana to rise.
His grace, thank you. His grace, Bishop Dr. Engenas Joseph Lekanyana, is the spiritual leader and bishop of the Saint Engenas Zion Christian Church. The church was founded in 1924 by Bishop Engenas B. Lekanyan, the grandfather to the current bishop, and was then known as the Zion Christian Church. On 31 May 1948, Bishop Engenas B. Lekanyana passed on, having appointed his son, Bishop Joseph Engenas Lekanyana, to succeed him as the rightful leader of the church. After the customary year of mourning for the founder, Bishop Joseph Engenas Lekanyan was installed as the spiritual leader and bishop of the church in 1949. On 26 December 1965, the church conference in fulfillment of the prophecy by the founder that the church would in later years be named after him, resolved to sanctify him and name the church after him. The church was from henceforth known as the Saint Engenas Zion Christian Church. In 1972, Bishop Joseph Engenas Lekanyane passed on, having appointed his son and current bishop as his successor. He was installed as a spiritual leader and bishop at a church conference held at Zion City, Moria in 1975, and has since become the custodian and incarnation of the values and norms of the church as laid down by his predecessors. Inspired by the founding principles of the church, his Grace Bishop Dr. Engenas Joseph Lekanyane, through his spiritual gift and sacrosanct leadership, sought and continues to transform the Christian landscape diligently and consciously in Africa and beyond. Driven by, driven by the divine vision of the church, he has done exceptionally well to converge African people's way of life humanity, and identity with Christianity to provide Africans the platform to worship and praise God with pride and freedom. Through his steward leadership, his grace as a divine visionary leader has given hope where there was none, as well as healing and restoration to men. He is regarded as a nation builder and compassionate leader who is always sensitive and grounded on the issues, challenges, and plights of members of the church and the public at large. He always serves as an integral part of a leadership that seeks to provide solutions to address societal issues and challenges. His altruistic and idealistic leadership, as well as reliability, have earned him reverence across all sectors of society throughout the world. The phenomenal development and growth of the church has culminated in major inroads in the rural and urban communities across the country. The church has further strengthened its establishment in the Southern African development communities, such as Botswana, Eswatini, Lesotho, Malawi, Mozambique, Namibia, Zambia, Zimbabwe, and beyond. Under his leadership and through the church council, sound corporate governance structures leveraging technology have been put in place to ensure that the church is abreast with modern developments. He is a proponent of education and advocates for everyone to attain the highest level of education possible as a means for self-liberation and empowerment. His grace has himself attained a number of academic qualifications in various fields of learning. 
His Grace Bishop Dr. Engenas Joseph Lekhanyan is a man of vision, integrity, and humility, a man of peace, a humanitarian at heart, and has made an immeasurable contribution to many lives on the continent and beyond, rich and poor, young and old, able and disabled. He has dedicated his entire life to the improvement and betterment of both the underprivileged and the privileged. In appreciation and recognition of his work, various universities have confirmed can conferred on him honorary doctoral degrees. He is thus deserving of an honor for his outstanding and impactful contribution. The University of South Africa is privileged to honor His Grace Bishop Dr. Engenas Lekhanyane for his innovative, visionary, and globally impactful leadership in humanizing cultures, philosophies, and transformative expressions of religion. The university is equally proud that His Grace Bishop Dr. Engenas Lekhanyana has and continues to give credence to the construction of best models and principles of building large organizations and movements that are reliant and embed sustainable organizational architectures, infrastructures, and futures. UNISA recognizes and supports the efforts of Africanization and internationalization agenda of the bishop and the St. Engenais Zion Church, which continually seek to build social cohesion, social capital, and peace amongst people countries, and the world. His Grace Bishop Dr. Engenas Lekhanyane is thus deserving of being honored for his outstanding and globally impactful contribution. At its sitting of 29 June 2023, the UNISA Council favorably considered these illustrious interventions and unanimously agreed to confer the distinct honor of a PhD theology honoris causa on his grace, Bishop Dr. Engenas Joseph Lilkanyan. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor, I now have the honor to request you to confer on Engenas Joseph Lekhanyana, the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Theology, honoris causa. I confer the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Theology, honoris causa, on Engenas Joseph Lekhanyana.
retirement. Uh, I'm sure all of us would like to hear you. A statement of a step back. Thank you. Chancellor, before we go, may I ask you a May I request, before His Grace uh, delivers a speech, that we just have a song. Thank you. Hang on. Did they hear you? Yes. May I request that uh, we may be seated as we listen to a song. Thank you. His Grace. <laughs> Let me start by greeting the Chancellor and former President of the Republic of South Africa, His Excellency Dr. Tabum Begi, the Deputy President of the Republic of South Africa, Mr. Paul Mashatile, the Premier of Gauteng Province, Mr. Panyaza Lisuf. The Vice Chancellor and Principal Professor Puleng Lukambula. The Chairperson of the University Council, Mr. MJ Mavoa. The University Council of Chairperson elect Dr. Daniel Dau Musia and members of the Council, the Acting Registrar, Professor Moloko Sporta. Members of the executive management, all members of the INESA community, dignitaries, ladies and gentlemen present here. Here is, here in our midst, sorry. Let me say to you all, Koto Ibelelena, peace be with you all. First and foremost, I accept the role that you, UNISA, have identified in recognition of the duties to which I'm committed, namely the primacy of peace as principle and values, value for human interaction and spiritually the foregrounding of African consciousness theology and philosophy, anchoring the moral fiber of our society in our world today, promotion of social cohesion, social capital, social justice, and capacity to build and rebuild large complex and resilient institutions. All these mentioned aspects, vital as they are, uh, feel falling short the world at large. Let me agree with you without reservation that the St. Agna Zion Christian Church is making meaningful and visible strides towards the accomplishment of this aspect. And with the recognition by your international acclaimed institution, Signing 
sorry, significant result will be released. Let me not shy to pronounce that your recognition of this church is far beyond the expectations of the church and human efforts in spreading the word of God. And the spin-offs, therefore, will be immeasurable. And for this, thank you very much on behalf of the church and Mr. Chancellor, you are elevating this church to play a vital role in the international arena. St. Agnes established this church aiming at creating spiritual peace, justice, stability, and unity in the African fam family and in community at large. The church was become an instrument of religious changes, not only in South Africa, but also in Sadek region, the whole continent. Thanks to this excellent command of African values and cultures, he also capitalized on his knowledge that an African is by nature a religious person. The church aimed at producing a Christian totally rooted in an African lifestyle, rooted in African setup, in it was an African Christianity which allocated self dignity, love, peace, and self sufficiency in all aspects of life. This reminds me of I am African. And to this, I know somebody, our meets, will nod his head and smile. <laughs> we of the St. Ignatius Zion Christian Church have consecrated the founder of the church in appreciation of this excellent work. May I also add that the church has successfully United people of different nationalities. There is an apart and deliberate, sorry, there is an apparent and deliberate neglect to promote African spiritually indicative of this act. This fact, sorry, is that there is a very few literature and authors who have written about this important aspect. May I humbly request you, Mr. Chancellor, to venture into this field in the African has lost his identity or image. Is it not time opportune to restore it? This cannot be your function alone. Government, churches, and all formations should also give their attention to this aspect, as its neglect will not only deepen moral degeneration, but accentuate, accentuate social moral decay. To foster and enhance peace and establish today is nationally and internationally. Sending qua non if we collectively want to make this place better planet of human existence. My humbly submission is that, if possible, Mr. Chancellor, convene an international conference based on the academy debate to address this topic of peace and stability promotion, enhancement, and maintenance hereof. This to me is an agent if we are to live comfortably in this mother earth, bearing in mind the old adage, namely the prevention is better than cure. I know, Mr. Chancellor, this is an absolutely difficult and challenging task, but somebody should initiate it. 
I am mindful of the fact that the role of the university is to conduct research in any aspect of the social so, so, society and its values so as to cope with the ever-changing factors. It, it is on this basis that you should not fail in this respect. And if you have studied the church as its duty, pray for your success. success. The greatest challenge facing humanity, especially Christians, is to work towards unity. Churches will not benefit anything by criticizing and rejecting one another. The Bible command, uh, commands us not to ju judge one another. Deeds. If Jesus Christ is our Savior, our symbol of unity, and unity himself, then churches be on an equal footing serving God. It is therefore the task of all Christians to preach unity in Christ, unity amongst individuals, the church, the nation, and the internationally. It is unfortunate that as mankind, we often ele elevate our differences far beyond what they deserve. And in so doing, we fail to recognize the greater strength that lies in our combined efforts. Unity still possible as illustrated by the period of COVID-19 pandemic, as well as participation as supporting different sport codes. The history of the church date back to 1924, when St. Agnes established it responding to a holy calling. Before his death, he made a spiritual appointment of his son, Joseph Agnes Lichanyan. And I, being the son of Joseph, am the third in this line for legitimate succession. It is on account of the above that I am today very grateful that I'm happy to receive this award of the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Theology on behalf of my grandfather, St. Agnes, and my father, Joseph. <laughs> and on behalf of St. Agnes Zion Christian Church. I'm indeed very grateful for this honor. And I'm inviting your credible institution to conduct research on the following matters relating to the church. History, liturgy, philosophy, as well as the impact and role of the St. Agnes and Christian Church. This is so, Mr. Chancellor, in view of the fact that after your evangelization, the church will without doubt expand. Lastly, to the Inisa family under the capable leadership of the Vice Chancellor and uh, Principal Professor Buleng Lingabula, Thank you for this award, and I sincerely pray that you, your institute be showered with the heavenly blessing from Almighty God. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you, thank you. May I please request you to be seated? Thank you. Your Grace, uh, thank you very much uh, for those words. Uh, as we have expected, we would have expected, Your Grace and Dr. Dr. Angana Sakayan, uh, what you said contains a lot of wisdom. Uh, it contains even some instructions for the university. We will want to follow up on the matters that you've raised, Your Grace, because of their importance uh, for us, university, I think for the country. Indeed, I think even your reference, Your Grace, to, uh, to the continent was important. Uh, we have heard you. And thank you very much indeed for the blessing uh, for the university. We uh, we are very, very proud indeed, uh, Dr. Angela Sakanyan, that you are now one of our alumni. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> as a university, we are indeed very blessed. But thank you, thank you very much for those very important comments. Thanks a lot, Your Grace. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. May I request? A rendition. Thank you. Next up.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think we all understand that we're here to celebrate a great graduation, a great expression of wisdom, as the Chancellor would have said in response to the Bishop's song, to the Bishop's message. At this point, colleagues, let me request the deans of the colleges, Chancellor, to present the graduates to you. Let me request the deans of the colleges to read the graduates starting with the doctoral degrees. Thank you. No. Yes, sir. By Thank virtue you. of the powers entrusted to me, I shall now proceed to confer the degrees and diplomas of the universities on the candidates on the, whose names appear in the program. The Chancellor. Mr. Chancellor, I have the honor to introduce to you Pascal Abraham Jordan for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. I request his supervisor, Prof. L. G. Fitz, to read the citation in support of the conferment of the degree. In the absence of the supervisor, I will now read the citation in support of the conferment of the degree. In his thesis, entitled The Impact of Organized Contraband Smuggled into Correctional Facilities in the Gauteng region. He analyzes the impact of organized contrabands, the impact organized contrabands have on the management of correctional centers. He makes a valuable contribution to the body of knowledge in the field of corrections by proposing a risk intervention model that can assist correctional managers to deal more effectively with contraband smuggling in correctional facilities. He proposed, the proposed model provides several supportive strategies to help correctional officials identify high risk areas that present potential for smuggling illicit goods and how to overcome them. Mr. Chancellor, I have the honor to request you to confer on Pascal Abraham Jordan the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. I confer the degree of Doctor of Philosophy on Pascal Abraham Jordan. Mr. Chancellor, I have the honor to introduce to you Sindhu 
Ramal Lingam for a degree of Doctor of Philosophy. I request her supervisor, Professor Gisela van Rensbeck, to read the citation in support of the conferment of the degree. In her thesis entitled Storytelling, an Innovative Educational Package for Teaching Midwives in Uganda, she thoroughly investigates the use of storytelling as an innovative teaching strategy for teaching midwives. A qualitative approach, approach and interpretive phenomenology design are employed to analyze reflective essays of midwifery students on complications during their practice and validate these stories. Tadeus and Main's three delay model is used to develop an educational package with step-by-step -step instructions for preparing midwifery educators for storytelling classroom sessions. <clears throat> the educational package provides information to nursing education institutions, professional regulatory bodies, and po policy makers related to curriculum and training methods of academic and clinical courses in midwifery education. Mr. Chancellor, I have the honor to request you to confer on Sindhu Ramalingam the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. I, I confer the degree of Doctor of Philosophy on Sindhu Ramalingam. Mr. Chancellor, the candidate I'm reading now missed the two o'clock session. So, Mr. Chancellor, I have the honor to introduce to you Demeke Haila Absher for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. His supervisor was Professor L. Jane Demma. In his thesis entitled public housing policy and the housing need of residents in informal settlements in Ethiopia, the case of Addis Ababa. He analyzes how the socioeconomic status of informal settlers and public housing policies affects the provision of affordable public housing for low-income households living in the Bole and Yeka informal settlements located in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. His key findings shows that the conventional approach to constructing public housing, despite its flaws and past failures, remains prevalent in the developing approach to constructing public housing. Despite its flaws and past failures, remains prevalent in developing nations such as Ethiopia. Despite poor housing conditions, lack of basic services, and social amenities, there is a strong sense of place of attachment among informal dwellers in the Pole and Yeka informal settlement areas. Mr. Chancellor, I have the honor to request you to confer on Demeke Haila Absher, the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. I, I have the honor to confer the degree of Doctor of Philosophy on Demeke Haila Absher. <laughs>
Mr. Chancellor, I have the honor to introduce to you Velemina Khabaipiwe Moleko for the degree of philosophy. I request her supervisor, Professor M.T. Gumbo, to read the citation in support of the conferment of the degree. In her thesis entitled, The Responsiveness of in Instructional Design in Open Distance and E-Learning to the Fourth Industrial Revolution, she undertakes an empirical investigation into the process of a migration to online delivery in response to the Fourth Industrial Revolution environment. Chaos theory, constructivism, and connectivism are used to develop the theoretical framework for the study. The study reveals that the process, while well intended, has negative unintended consequences for staff and students, including increased workload for academic staff and inadequate technical support for students. While the findings show that the ADI-based framework for a team approach is still relevant to the ODEL context, some adjustments are required. Among others, the study recommends addressing workload issues and implementing a change management process. Mr. Chancellor, I have the honor uh, to request you to confer on Velemina Khabaipiwe Moleko, who is a member of staff, the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. I confer the degree of Doctor of Philosophy on Velemina Khabaipiwe Moleko. Mr. Chancellor, I have the honor to introduce to you Elliot Charles Ndlovu for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. I request his supervisor, Professor M.T. Gumbo, to read the citation in support of the conferment of the degree. In his thesis, entitled Senior Face Technology Teachers Integration of Indigenous Creative Design Processes in Systems and Control. He investigates how senior uh, face technology teachers integrate indigenous knowledge systems in the creative uh, design process activities when teaching systems and control content. He analyzes data collected from interviews documents and observations of classroom teaching using qualitative techniques. He identifies a need to guide the integration of indigenous knowledge systems in creative design activities in teaching systems and control and subsequently develops a model for this integration in technology. The study makes a valuable contribution to knowledge and practice in this regard. Mr. Chancellor, I have the honor to request you to confer on Elliot Charles Ndlovu, who is a member of staff, the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. I confer the degree of Doctor of Philosophy on Elliot Charles Ndlovu.
Mr. Chancellor, Puleng Jacqueline Sioko receives the degree of Master of Commerce. Mr. Chancellor, John Marconi receives the degree Master of Arts. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor, Lorraine Mapilusitole receives the degree Master of Social Work. Mr. Chancellor, the following candidates received the degree of Master of Science in the College of Agriculture and Environmental Sciences. <laughs> Preeti Njovu. Mr. Chancellor, Patrick Kennedy Namo Tsopoza receives the degree of Master of Laws. Mr. Chancellor, the following candidate receives the degree of Bachelor of Arts Honours, Munwabisi Mutandegeti, Mutandeki. Uh, Mr. Chancellor, uh, Marine, Mary Lynn Tewokumpepo receives the degree of Bachelor of Commerce Honours. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor, Zelda Lewokang Raku receives the degree of Bachelor of Administration Honours.
Mr. Chancellor, Cherry Tindo. My apologies. Mr. Chancellor, Charity Ndo receives the degree of Baccalaureus Technology. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor, the following candidates receive the degree of Bachelor of Administration. Dora Muratana. Kamukelo Makaliman. Mushibudi Mantata. Johanna Sirengandara. Balungi le faith ani kwesha. Mr. Chancellor Jabuli le promise Madela receives the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Mr. Chancellor, the following candidates receive the degree of Bachelor of Commerce. Sumati Chetty. E.P. Davana. Luan Fick. Thomas George Flukes. Mr. Chancellor Kumuso Patience Gota receives the degree with distinction. <laughs> Demetria Govender. <laughs> Vaneshri Govender. Go ahead. Johan Christian Grobler. <laughs> Nadia Hamse. Virginia Slachwayo. No kwanda skete lojiane. Julia Kaukelo Komula. Wongekile Karo Kumalo. Pindile Immaculate Machere. Swangile Matangu Tibora Witumele Maleka Tulani successively Maluleke Swangile Swangile Sofi Masango.
Mahonono Margaret Masila. Joy Bunte Mashian. Yoko Both, Yoko Beth, Sitsuedi Matagala. Dwayne Patrick Matthews. Yitle Madalose. Martina Mgidi. Kamkelo Ethos Ethel Mumise. Tawo Kenneth Mulishiwa. Resilwe Nokwada Musala. Karabon Jovu. Nkele Evelyn Nene. Neo Mimi Yuen Dite. Madira Dorothy Rampir. Mr. Chancellor Zenani Uyanda Shawazi receives the degree with distinction. Catherine Siabekwa. Andy Lek Sasaletu Sibia. Mamke Leke Leto Felicity Sikauke. Tando Kweduluazis Kosana. Ike Seng Sophia Chocho. Zama Zondi. Mr. Chancellor, the following candidates received the degree of Bachelor of Laws. Ringeta Freddy Baloy. Karabo Idith Mbambo. Mr. Chancellor, Joan Bernard obtained the degree with distinction. <laughs> Levison Chibye. <laughs> Moses Chokwe. Mr. Chancellor, Junika Dari obtained the degree with distinction. <laughs> Libuhang Diteho.
Kabuto Boaz Gumede. Tony Le Jacob Satwayo. Given Buse Chope. Carolyn Ho. Tashwell Joseph. Mr. Chancellor, Shimbarashe Katsande obtained the degree with distinction. Samantha Katroya. Catherine Ntwamala Khatle. Utsepeng Khotsedi. Raymond Mashilo Liboho. Itumeleng Motadimang Lejaka. Evelyn Mlatelo Lekanyane. Hello, Ivonia Lehau. To say, Home Luhadi Lehau. Bonisiwe Sean Mabunda. Shitombe Mabunda. Refilwe Given Mabusela. Shamane Madonsela. Itumeleng Mahabe. Yvonne Maja, Tendai Majuru, Calvin McKenna, Renee Makiti. Kentani Bridget Makubele. Mwekaza Salomon Maledu. Ndwamato Solomon Malihasi. Mulukane Whitney Malepe. Buitumelo Lise di Malisa. Sulufelo Lerato Maluka. Eric 
Félix Yamalani Maleke. Ntamulo Precious Maluleke. Karabo Masakale. Zelibanzi Ntokozo Innocent Masilela. Ignatia Guilty Masinga. Zinte Masuku. Boabo Mativa. Mpakiseng Patricia Matala. Leslie Mabima. Clement Muzikai Semazibuko. Sinazo Mishwana. Sihe Nikita May. Naledia Miso. Elmi Meya. Geraldine Janine Mila. Sekofazo Muletwai Stephens Makuvela. Stembile Nokwazim Konto. Patrick Kutwile Moeng. Nonchanta Faith Mukwera. Tandeka Mukwena. Leslie Dikhang Moku. Matepo Bitha Mulife. Enru Malive Muloisan. Kamukhelo Munama. Rebecca Hadi Munamudi. Floyd Munana. Sipokazi Mgoliwa. Proud Mutaso Morena. Vasitana Tinello Musicari.
katlego Monica Mutaung Palisa Mpolwane Enru Gordon Mpomani Florence Mtembu Michelle Bongi Wemtunzi Munei Vivian Mohali Liratom Vinjelwa Stulomien Tiniko Blessing Jovu Joel Samarisa Lukula Libuhang Gwejana Kamukhelo Patrick Ngwenya Rifumelo Courage Novella Mr. Chancellor, Nompumelelo Nomvete obtained the degree with distinction. Confidence Tavang Kuma. No sinod in Tingata Kurisang Melros in Temu Melusis Pelele Ngumalo. Rati Lue Pala Mashoto Mulukhadi Pasha Polo Susan Pito Margaret Mpopoto Mutsatsi Gertrude Rabutata Mafu Solomon Rakometsi Ravisha Ramdav <laughs> Given Tavo Ramuta <laughs> Celebrate Ramshava.
Lisanda Reda. Look at the camera. Vascolin Maputi Siavi. Bunolo Jessica Siete. Maxwell Chabangu. Valentine Lerato Lise Dishikwan. Tubelise Emerentia Shongwe. Bungi we Miriam Shingube. Svongi le sveko. Anna Slimela. Sema Davis Sai. Alfred Ramutuhelwa Timani. Isaac Tigere Tichareva. Gladys Tadi. The peace on Tanta Tala Dominic Hadehulu Tungwan Amina Voldia. David Johannes Velhamud. Sipoka Zinwabi Isa Zokufa. Mr. Chancellor, the following candidates receive the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Dineo Valeri Diale. Kolani Oscar Makanya. Sontaka Roni Makud Tudisa. Loret Maluleke. Mandisa Penelope Mbata. Tembim Kateko Mgiva. Mkwesaka Mudicheji. Humulimo Consolation Mutuatwa. Matapelo Cynthia Mpasele. Mr. Chancellor, Pasmoloj Pel Melody Pile obtained the degree with distinction.
Petronella Tevolenko si Tembani. Mr. Chancellor, Henrik White receives the degree of Bachelor of Commerce. Mr. Chancellor, the following candidate received the degree of Bachelor of Science, Vernon Jacob Onstazen. Mr. Chancellor, Mami Mahalimele receives the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Mr. Chancellor, Thelma Koza receives the degree Bachelor of Social Work. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor, Miriam Maditung Kisitwaba receives the degree Bachelor of Theology. Mr. Chancellor, the following candidates received the degree Bachelor of Arts. Raibulai Monica Moto. Mohamed Alawi. Tabang Howard Jacobs. <laughs> Toby Le Poshia Sevilla. <laughs> Tandeka Precious Matangu. Tapelo Chaumbea Mr. Chancellor, the diploma candidates will now be introduced to you. Mr. Chancellor, Moraro Happiness Mutabeni receives the postgraduate diploma in the College of Law. Thank you. 
Mr. Chancellor, Poshia Sibanda receives the postgraduate diploma in the College of Accounting Sciences. Mr. Chancellor, Tando Kubega receives the diploma in the College of Human Sciences. Mr. Chancellor, the following candidates receive the National Diploma in the College of Science, Engineering and Technology. Mpo Mabizela. Mr. Chancellor, the following candidates receive the diploma in the College of Law. Humati Brian Mpasele. Christina Kihumuditwe Dintiti. Mr. Chancellor, Maria Nukupila Gumede obtained the diploma with distinction. Kiamuketsu Mana Kedi Leti Shongwani. Ntombizanele Penelope Kubeka. Nokutula Wini Kubeka. William Libuhang Masaule. Johannes Dumisani Maslela. Victoria Matapelo Meriosi. Develo John Missing. Joyce Shubi Mwekezi. Masiho Muhalati. Lorraine Mutene. Murungwa Slowa.
Dora Mpala Shivanda. Noluvuyo Svali. Ntombifuti Sindi Svanyoni. Vusin Kesani Svisi. Nombumelelo Shabangu. Mr. Chancellor, the following candidates receive the National Diploma in the College of Economic and Management Sciences. Yolande Kweyama. Mr. Chancellor, the following candidates receive the Diploma in the College of Economic and Management Sciences. Ndombizanele Faith Mahlo. Maropini Lavodelia Machete. Charity Muhumuti Makupu. Matule Henrietta Mamecha. Sekofaso Edward Mushala. Mpo Nembanzeni. Tandekile Jeanette Mwepe. Amukelani E. Manyambi. Suela Nibi Janita Shokani. Precious Nosipo Soko. Mr. Chancellor. The following candidates receive the National Diploma in the College of Economic and Management Sciences. Sherwood Stewart Mashaule. Life Maluleke. Pindi Lembokota. Last but not least, Levohang Vilona Mloto. I'm set. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure we are all elated. This is the time for Mikhulukwani Mididi Etzani 
and their expressions of joy. Can I please hear Mikhulukwani? Uh, I didn't hear anything. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Chancellor. I request the honor to request the, the Deputy President, His Excellency Deputy President Mashatile, to give a message of support. Deputy President, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Vice Chancellor. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Kotso, I really rise to congratulate all our graduates this evening. Rere hala lama graduates hala la. Hala lama graduates hala la. Program director. Firstly, greetings to you, Vice Chancellor, uh, for all the good work that you have been doing. But I'm sure you would not have been stronger to succeed if the Chancellor was not here. So I want to greet uh, our Chancellor of this university, Dr. Tabumbeki, former president of the ANC and the Republic of South Africa. <clears throat> Vice Chancellor, let me also greet the whole team, the whole management of this university, uh, we are proud of the work you are doing. Uh, I wanted to recognize our leaders who were here. I don't see the Premier of Gauteng, uh, but uh, we recognize him as well. I just want to say briefly on behalf of our government and the people of South Africa that we are really proud of all of you this evening. Uh, the fact that you have graduated means you have been working very hard. So we are very proud of you. And I want to say to the university that uh, you are really doing a splendid job. I, I was just checking with the Vice Chancellor how many people are graduating uh, today, and she said uh, maybe about 400 uh, this evening, just this evening. Uh, so it's quite a big number of uh, people who have worked hard and who we are honoring uh, this evening. But let me take uh, this opportunity to really celebrate the momentous moment when we had this evening uh, to witness this moment where our bishop, Ntatewa Rona, was honored in this manner. Thank you very much, uh, Unisa, for uh, bestowing on our father this uh, recognition. Unisa, Chancellor and Vice Chancellor, uh, for this honor. Uh, Mr. Chancellor, President Mbeki, I want to 
Thank you for this tireless work that you are doing. Uh, I would have thought when you uh, completed your work as the president, you would retire. Uh, but here you are continuing to serve our people diligently. Uh, we are very happy about that. Very happy, particularly, I know that you're doing a lot of work in the country and in Africa, but you know, your dedication to education is really something we must all be proud of. Program Director, to, I want to say to all the graduates uh, this evening, now that you've receive your certificates, you have been uh, honored in this manner. Go now and continue to serve our people. Because we know with your skills uh, that you have received, you will really make a big contribution as we strive to build a better life in this country. So we are waiting for you out there to come and work with us as we build this beautiful country and ensure that indeed our people will ultimately have a better life. I just wanted to say when I arrived here uh, my wife and I had an opportunity to spend some time with the bishop and I reminded him that I did visit the church at some point, and he remembered that uh, I, I went to the church with former Deputy President Mabuza. So the bishop said to me, you must come back uh, to the church. Uh, so I said to the bishop, yes, uh, we will come back uh, with my wife to the church, but I'm not sure when, but I think there is a plan in my diary. So, Bishop, it's been confirmed. Uh, I'll whisper to you the date before you leave. <laughs> but it is confirmed that indeed uh, I am uh, going to visit the church next month. Uh, but the date I'll whisper to the Bishop. Uh, Real uh, President Becky, uh, Professor Puleng uh, Linkampula, and the entire team of, of UNISA for the good work that you are doing. Uh, I would like to really uh, end by saying that continue to do the good job that you, you are doing. It's not easy. You know, managing universities uh, and sometimes with not enough resources uh, can never be an easy job. But the biggest uh, applause must go to the graduates. <laughs> we are very, very, very proud of you. Uh, and. I know that you are setting up a good example for those uh, who still want to get where you are, uh, and the university will continue to provide uh, these good uh, services. So thank you very much, uh, uh, Chancellor, uh, Vice Chancellor, for affording me this opportunity to make a few remarks is really to say thank you, thank you on behalf of our government and our people. Ria Leboha, Siabong Agakulu, Akensa, Rikoleboha, Inkomo. Thank you very much, and uh, may the, the university continue to do this good work. Thank you very much.
Mr. Chancellor, I have the honor to request you to congratulate the graduates on receiving their degrees and diplomas. A chairperson of a, a council, vice chancellor and principal, and the deputy president uh, Paul Mashatile. Uh, let me say first of all, thanks a lot, a uh, uh, deputy president, for honouring this occasion. We are very, very glad indeed that. Uh, You've lent the grace and the weight to our graduation ceremony this evening. And thanks indeed for all of the remarks that you've just made. Um, we, I, I'd like to say to you, uh, Deputy President, that uh, uh, I watch what's happening here at the university, in the administration, in the teaching, and so on. And I'd like to assure you, uh, Deputy President, that we are doing our best to live up to the task that we have as a university. And want to assure you that uh, much of what you would read in the press that is negative about the university is not correct. The, <laughs> you and I have worked for a long time together, a deputy president, and you know very well that I would not say that unless I meant it. <laughs> we have our challenges, but the university is trying to attend to them. Uh, but thank you very much indeed, uh, the Deputy President, for your presence. And also, we, uh, I'm very, very glad indeed that we have among us our new member of our alumnus, uh, Dr. Engenas Lakanyane, His Grace, the Bishop. And indeed, as I was saying, as I said, Your Grace, the things that you comment, you said here, we will take seriously and we'll act on them. Uh, the bishop said to me, uh, the, 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 the bishop said to me as we were graduating all of the LLBs here, that he wants to see something, uh, an LLB in church law. Is that possible? <clears throat> uh, I hope you heard, you heard that your grace, we, the staff have said yes, it's possible. So maybe we'll, we'll do that. But thank you, thank you very much indeed, your grace, for accepting our, our offer and coming here. Yeah. I'd also like to say thanks to that magnificent band that is there. <laughs> I, I, we were, the uh, procession, it was led today by them when they played the tune Gaudeamus Egitur. Uh, thank you very much, Ben. Very, very well done. <laughs> Members of uh, UNISA executive management and staff, and the splendidly gowned academics who are seated with me on stage, who are seated here, who are here to support our graduates this evening, families, guardians, and friends of our graduates, and of course, most important, the UNISA graduates. A graduation ceremony is a matter of great pride for the graduates, for their families, their friends, and guardians, and of course, for the university. There is something special about these ceremonies 
that has as much to do with the personal achievement of an important academic milestone and goal as it does with the ceremony itself. There is indeed a sense that this is one of those rare defining moments when a truly joyful celebration is merited. And the brightly colored robes of the academic procession, the red and black gowns and caps and the differently designed hoods of the graduates, the symbols like the ceremonial mace and the formulaic ceremony and the capping ritual, acknowledge and lend legitimacy to the individual effort and the knowledge and skills that have been acquired over the period of study. I'm indeed honored to stand here as we are about to conclude this important celebration, the celebration of the achievements of the graduates before us, to congratulate you all on your well end and surely hard won qualifications. I also take this opportunity to congratulate this magnificent university that is UNISA for its sustained efforts to continue to produce the high caliber graduates who are with us this, this evening. Albert Einstein once said that the process of scientific discovery is in effect a continual flight from wonder. And thus through the knowledge you have acquired, you have joined the empowering flight from wonder and further reduced the perimeters of the unknown by the new which some of our distinguished graduates have added to the totality of human knowledge. And I'm saying so about the people who are wearing the red caps and so on in front of me here. Of course, the masters also who added something in that flight from Rwanda with the new knowledge that you've contributed. And thus does society as a whole join us here today to celebrate your success, since that achievement means that humanity has gained new capacities to help bring about progress and transformation for the greater good of all humanity. Your welcome success has also confirmed that through you, its graduates, the university continues to take seriously its responsibility to understand and appreciate the role that it needs to play in society. So dear UNISA graduates, you have joined the ranks of the brightest and best in South Africa, in our continent and the world. And we, the spouses, the parents, the families, the academic management and other staff, and indeed the country, the continent and beyond, extend our sincere and proud congratulations to you and all of us together we say, very well done. And we hope that your success will foster in you the desire and confidence to say, I want more and I can achieve more. Empowered both to help create a better world as well as attain personal progress. And so to the families, the friends, the guardians who stood by our graduates and supported them in their studies, we congratulate you as well. Your support has contributed in a very tangible way to the valuable academic achievements we've gathered to recognize and celebrate. <coughs> Before I sit down, let me join the Vice Chancellor who reminded us that uh, today is the birthday of a very important patriot who was central to the democracy that we enjoy. I'm talking here about Oliver Tambo. Today would be his birthday, 27th of October. <clears throat> and I think we must, all of us, all of us, as this university congregation, led by uh, His Grace Archbishop Dr. Engenas Likanyan said, uh, say very, very good wishes to the Springboks, who are uh, <laughs> who are playing uh, in the final in, in Paris tomorrow. 
You remember that the, this is the second time the Springboks come to Paris for the World Rugby World Cup. The first time was in 2007. And they came home with the cup that time. We've sent a message to them to say this is the second time they are coming to France for a rugby world camp. And they must repeat what they did in 2007 and bring back the cup. So best wishes to the Springboks, but thank you very much for your attention. Ladies and gentlemen, you may be seated. Let me, however, request the graduates to stand up. Let me start with diplomas, degrees, honors, and postgraduate degrees. Can you please stand up? Let us give them a round of applause. Thank you. You may be seated. Let me request, thank you. Let me request the masters to stand up. So those of you who have done your diplomas, degrees, postgraduate studies, and your honors, you must aspire to pursue the master's degree. As we often say, UNISA is always open for you and we are willing. So, because the ink is not yet dry, let's see you following in their footsteps. And so colleagues, they often say a master's is one of the highest degrees. Look next to you. <laughs> so if you thought you had finished, we would like you to emulate those colleagues that are sitting before you. For education, as President Mandela would have said, is that which allows a child of a mine worker to work and pursue to become a mine owner. So is the farmer to become self-sustaining for food sovereignty and health. So let's ensure that we follow. Let me ask you with the great, you may be seated. Let me ask you those with the red gowns, colleagues, please stand up. You. So if you look at the numbers and you think about the National Development Plan and Africa Agenda 2063, the Africa we want, we still need to do a little bit more than the numbers that you see. So those of you who were in the black gowns, please work hard to ensure that we meet the dreams and demands of our society for education and for doctorate. So colleagues, they said you've reached the pinnacle. I don't want to dent your day, but you should be appreciative. President Mbeki, amongst these graduates, there are those from Ethiopia, Uganda, and it shows the commitment for the country to ensuring that it's part of building and using education for the transformation of the continent, the world beyond. Can we give them a round of applause? Thank you. So before you sit, colleagues, it's not enough. Look at the podium here. The gowns are different. The colors of the hats are different. The most senior office in the country is present. The former senior you know, president is present. But it means your aspirations must be larger than the PhD you receive. It's important. Publish, create new knowledge. Help those colleagues behind you to ensure that they journey into the successful trajectory that you would have followed of this important milestone. Congratulations. So you may remain standing. All graduates, please stand up and look towards your families and the podium. Can you please, not, uh, the, not the covers of your certificates. Some of you have driven, flown, borrowed money to come to the graduations. 
shared or because our culture of Ubuntu celebrates these accomplishments. So show these colleagues, the partners, the parents, the spouses, the loved ones who would have accompanied you in the struggles that you would have had in your journey, joining the group of excellence, a circle of excellence of UNISA, being an alumni of this university, having the duty to promote peace, justice, to seeking to ensure that you help others to become better, our country, continent, and the world. Please show them and thank them. Thank you, thank you very much. I'm also honored, President, you've already done the honor with Bishop Dr. Engenas Joseph Lekhanyan for accepting the conferment by our Chancellor to be associated with this August University larger than all of us. Congratulations. <laughs> Finally, colleagues, may I please to rise up for the singing of the national anthem, the words of which are to be found on page 22 of the program. May I also request you, in the spirit and aspirations of our society, of ensuring that the national anthem embodies the dreams of our society for freedom, for dignity, for justice, for democracy, but also for humanizing aspects of Ubuntu, that we sing the national anthem with dignity. And if you don't know it, please go to page 22. May I also request that you remain standing after the anthem to enable our Chancellor, His Excellency President Becky, to dissolve the congregation. Finally, may I please request you to remain standing while the academic procession leaves the hall. We would like the graduation to conclude with the dignity that we would have had even as we started. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, may I please, uh, I would not want to make a mistake, Chancellor, I would have done a terrible mistake. May I please request our organists to know that we are going to have a collaboration of the singing of the national anthem with the band, not just 
accompanied by the organ. Can I please request that we start so that we do not make the mistake? Thank you. Let's be patient. We have already been patient. Thank you. Please tell me to work with them, not alone. We were supposed to do it together. Mr. Chancellor, I have the final request for you to dissolve this congregation of the university. By virtue of the powers entrusted to me, I dissolve this congregation of the University of South Africa. 